change, it's easy to forget. Behind each number is a person. Tonight, WCBI's Allie Martin introduces us to a man who is now in the recovered category, but his journey to overcome the virus was months in the making. Members of West Jackson Street Baptist Church were excited when in-person services started back up recently, but perhaps none were as eager to get back into church as Ronald Carrazza. Like many, he had attended church services on March 8th, the last Sunday before the shutdown, but when he returned, he was a walking miracle, having survived a nearly fatal bout with COVID-19. I knew something went right. The week after that last service, Carrazza became ill. He works in the furniture industry and travels for his job. After returning home from a trip, he was diagnosed with double pneumonia. His condition grew worse. He was put on a ventilator and tested positive for COVID-19. I claim to be healthy as far as work, still exercising and stuff. It's a humbling experience, you know, laying in that bed, not being able to do anything. The 61-year-old Tupelo man was on that ventilator under heavy sedation for nearly three weeks. And because of hospital restrictions, he couldn't have visitors. But there were other alternatives. We would set up a time to FaceTime and I would talk to him even though he couldn't talk back. Um, and, you know, I really believe that he might could hear something. After several setbacks, Carrazza went to Memphis to rehab. In all, he spent 58 days in the hospital. Although he lost track of time and more than 30 pounds, Carrazza quickly found out how many people were praying for him through social media. I have been amazed, literally amazed, at people I don't even know that have prayed for me and have lifted me up. And it's just been awesome because I believe in the power of prayer. Coming back to church has been refreshing and encouraging. The fact that even though we go through trials and tribulations, we can use that to be better Christians and also to set an example because we're not, we're not given that it's gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy being Christians in a fallen world but we can be more Christ-like. Ronald Carrazza has returned to work and continues physical therapy. And while doctors encourage him to take it slow, he is taking every opportunity to share his story as an overcomer. In Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Carrazza's wife did get COVID-19, but had a much milder case.